Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to be doing the contract called Preventative Care. So for this contract, we have to visit Road Bend to the ranch. So that is right here. And here is where that is on the map. This is on the burned forest in the upper right hand corner. And we have to pick up six hay bales and bring them back to the city warehouse, which is on the Albany River. So I guess we have to do a little bit of farming if you consider this farming. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider it the same kind of farming as you'd have to do, but I mean, it's kind of farming. Getting hay for some animals. And uh, I realized again on the way here that this truck that I'm, um, the one behind me, actually I gotta turn that off, oh, nope, I had it off. I don't have a crane on there again. Let's do this. I shouldn't say again because I never did. And uh, it's been a while since I've used this, so if I'm really bad, that is why. Okay, let's try and go nope, down. Something like that. There we go. Not the greatest, but we'll take it. But yeah, we don't have a crane on this truck, and we have six hay bales. So I think I'm going to try and pack five, and then just either, depending on how it how it rides back, like if this, oops, wrong way. I forget that this truck is in reverse sometimes. Oops, I want to go up, and what was it? Um, nope, wrong way again. It's always the wrong way. And then let's open. Is it opening? Oh, okay, there we go. Ah, oh, wrong way again. Um, but I'm going to try to put five of them in the trailer. And then we'll put a sixth one on top, I think. And see how it rides. And if it falls out, I could grab it with this truck. And just pull this along for a little ways. And if it's really bad... Uh, I do have a truck that we used in the last video that we could bring out here. Oh man, everything's backwards. I do have another truck, the um, International, or no, the Freightliner 114 SD that we could use. Okay, there we go. Let's go... God, oh, this is so bad. I'm sorry if this is painful to watch for you guys. I'm really, really bad at driving with this thing. We got it that time. But yeah, we're just gonna see how this works. We'll try and load five. Well, we'll try and pack five and load six. And then if it goes horribly, we can try with this truck, try and winch it along. And if that goes horribly, we have another truck with a winch, like a crane, I guess, actually. So I should have said that. Um, uh, yeah, like this. There we go. And open. There we go. I remember that really screwed me up the first time I tried to do it, and I'm like, I'm clicking the button to open, why are you not opening? But uh, it takes a little bit, because you clamp down on it quite a bit. But either way, we'll, we should be able to get there. The main, the long part of this video is going to be this part right here, where we're trying to load all, or pick all these up, because my, my driving is really horrible. Okay, let's see here. 
Let's go. Go down. Uh, whoop, too far. Oh, man. Oh. I think I gotta go down a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. That wasn't too bad. I think this is the only sort of farming contract in uh, Phase 9, as far as I can tell. We do get some, what is it, corn off on this side. We got some sunflowers. I guess those are off on the side as well. Let's try and raise this up and put this, yeah, that was right. Put this down and open. I think it'll stay in. Oh, there we go. Uh, no, that is not what I want. There we go, open. And up. Perfect. Uh, not the greatest at this, but we're getting there, guys. So let's try and... For me, it's easier when I'm... If I just turn around and drive with the back towards these hay bales. And then drive with the back towards that, if that makes any sense. Instead of trying to drive past it and turn around and whatever. Okay, let's go um, something like that. Wow, it looks way worse once you start tilting it down. Let's do that. Open it up. There we go. I think that looks good. Perfect. Oop, I pushed the open button. Not bad. Close. Close. Up. There we go. Struggled a little bit on that one. I'm sure most of you guys know, but we're using the Kirovitz K700 for this with the manipulator crane. We got the Western Star NF. Or I always say the NF first. I don't know. Western Star, Western Star 47X NF1424 is our truck. Whoa. Go, it's open. Perfect. Four out of five. So far, so good. Actually, maybe I could just put all six of them in there and just not pack it. I didn't even think about that, but I bet you that would... Well... Yeah, it might cause an issue when I go to pack it at the other end. So I think... Actually, I, I'm going to do that. And if it does cause an issue... Actually, I'm not even going to take the chance. I'm just going to... Once we get to our uh, the drop point, I'm just going to pull out a vehicle from the garage. Because, yeah, I don't want to risk it. Okay, let's grab... Oop, wrong way. There we go. I think I've been doing really good on this one. You guys will have to let me know in the comments below. But I think I'm doing very, very well. I've done super horribly at this before. And I've had no practice in like two months or something. And I'm still, like I said, I think I'm doing great. So you guys will have to let me know. Those of you who actually use the manipulator crane, um, what, what do you think? And I guess those who don't, you can still tell me what you think, but um, it holds a little less validity <laughs> just because it takes, you know, you have to use it to kind of know how hard it is. Or how easy it is, I guess, whatever difficulty you want to say it is. But I think it's, it's pretty hard to get used to the controls, like on a, I would say like a regular basis, if that makes any sense. Like, you'd have to use it a fairly often enough for it to be like not too hard I think 
but maybe not because like I just said I haven't used it in like three months or not three months a while and uh, I think I'm doing pretty good right now so it kind of takes that argument out all right now we got it lined up I think we're close to it let's bring this down and up a little bit there we go let's open that oh it's already open as much as it can Oh, it rolled a little bit away. That one's barely in there. We'll take it. <laughs> That's the worst crap, so actually I could open it up. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. There we go. Right into place, baby. Ah, now I'm going backwards. Once I stopped and started moving around, I threw myself off and started driving the wrong way. Alright, let's see. We gotta go far to the side. There we go. Um, I'm gonna try and center this up just a little bit more. So I don't have any issues, hopefully. Okay, let's go forward and I mean it's in there let's uh, refuel there we go all right we got all of them so I think as long as we don't drive like a maniac we should be okay to get this back there all in one piece. I wouldn't mind hitting a little bit of bumps and having that front one kind of fall into place, if you know what I mean. Because it's, it's a little bit on edge. So if we could hit a little couple of bumps and get it to, to fall sort of in, that'd be nice, but not the end of the world. All right, we're on our way. Basically, it's highway the rest of the way there now. So, um, yeah, I don't think we'll, we'll have any sort of fails. Although I do have the high range gearbox in here and I like to speed. So maybe. But there's no, I mean, I guess there is the road out in a few spots, but there's no, like, it's only for, like, a little, you know, like a, a puddle or a pond or whatever, kind of. There's no, like, big spots where it's just all gone, the road, so shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, are you guys excited? I think most of you guys probably are. Actually... Yeah, I would say most. I was going to say actually all, but no, I'm sure there's a few of you guys who've played the PTS. So, I would say probably 99% haven't been able to play it. But yeah, here is the truck that I was saying that I have a crane on if we did need it that was just down the road. I started driving it here, and then I was like, well, wait, I used that in the last video. Like, it's not the you know, end of the world, but I was like, I do have a truck that also drove in the last video that was waiting right at the, uh, the gateway. Oh man, that trailer's sliding. That was like it was on ice right there. So I think that's the only part where the road is out the rest of the way. No, actually there's, there's one more right before town. But I think that's it. Oh shoot, I didn't think about this. I don't know if it's going to allow me to go through this gateway with, with these not packed. This could be a disaster, but I guess we'll find out. Alright, um, we do have all of them. Perfect. I didn't know if that would work or not. In the last video we had one, an extra one, we had six cargo as well, and one of them didn't didn't want to go through so 
we had to throw one out, go back through the gateway, pick it up, and then go back through the gateway again. So we had them all. But yeah, um, should be uh, smooth sailing, I think, as long as we don't screw it up. I mean, basically all I have to do is just not, not drive like a madman and we'll be all right. So if I do drive like a madman, then there's a chance of that. Which I really don't want to pick it all back up, so I'm going to drive a little bit more conservative than normal. If I had this packed, I'd probably be flying down these roads. But since I do have a loose one... Yeah, I mean, well, I guess all of them are loose, technically. So I just haven't... Uh, whoa, 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 they're moving. Oh boy, there we go. Yeah, they're all loose, so they could all just fly out at any moment if it took a turn too sharp or something. I don't know, you guys will have to rate my uh, driving skills in this video down below, because I think I've done pretty well with both the Kirovitz K700, but also with this truck. Here is the other part that's out that I was talking about. So we're just going to try and sneak off to the side just a little bit. I've actually never even tried going to that left side here. Every single time I've always gone to the right. I just thought about that. I don't know if that spot, that spot is bad or not. I'll leave it to one of you guys to find out, I guess. Whoa! Alright, I probably have to check where I have to bring this because we're almost into town. I mean, you can see the town now. There's the Canadian flag up there. So I think I'm going to just park right here, switch to a truck with a crane, just so that I can pull one out. I don't want to pack it and accidentally have one disappear on me. I've had that before. So I'm going to park right here. But for anybody who's wondering, so this is where we were. We just followed this main road all the way down to the gateway. And the gateway comes out right here. We just followed this main road all the way down. And here is where we're dropping it, so it's a little bit up in front of us, but we'll bring out a crane truck and then we'll cut back. All right, so we brought out the Western Star's brother, or sister, whatever you want to say. This is the Western Star 47X NF1430. And I'm, I think I'm just going to drop the trailer and pick it up with this one, and then I'll just use the crane. It'll just make it a little bit easier. So we'll drive forward here. Change trucks. We'll detach. We'll just pull over by this Chevy CK1500. Whoa, fire hydrant there. Right over here. Park in this guy's driveway. And then we'll switch trucks and back this thing up right under the trailer here. There we go. And we're good to go. We'll drive to where we need to go. We'll grab one with a crane and they will get it delivered. So there is a task where you have to bring uh, a Cat 745C here, and a Western Star Twin Steer. Can I hit that? Uh, up to the other map, so this, that's why this Cat's here. All right, let me grab one. Just pull it out. And let's pack these. Let's get these delivered. Oh, I tried to do six. Duh. Don't have it in there. And unpack. Or, uh, unwinch. And six. So we got 560 experience, 6,350 for money. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. If you haven't already, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as we're trying to grow the channel, and I'd appreciate your help in doing that. And odds are, if you guys like this type of content, you guys like videos that I've made in the past and videos that I will make in the future. So as always, stay tuned till the next one.
Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.